everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you me redoing my gecko cages. I filmed me completely redoing three of my gecko cages and making them bioactive. The only thing I don't have yet is the actual um, like isopods and springtails, but everything else is all ready to go for these cages to be bioactive. And yeah, I'm just going to show you what I did, so let's get right into it. Before we start, please also make sure to subscribe down below and please follow me on Instagram. The handle will be in the description. Okay, so quickly let's go over some supplies. I have some leaves here. I got these from the reptile store. I have some hydro balls, which are for the drainage layer. I also got some live plants. These are all from the reptile store and I'm also going to be using some cuttings from my own house plants. Okay, so now I'm just vacuuming off any dirt that was on the top of the cage. And now let's empty the cage out so we can clean it and reset it up. This is my gargoyle gecko Cordelia's cage and she likes to hide in there so I just let her stay in there while I clean the cage. So now that the cage is empty, I'm just going to use a random little cup here to scoop out all the bedding and then once I just have like a little bit left, I just vacuum it out. Here I'm just checking for some infertile eggs. Cordelia is my only gargoyle gecko, so she's never been bred, but she does lay infertile eggs, so I was just getting those. So now I'm just using the vacuum to get any of the last little particles of bedding. This just makes it so much easier. I used to use just like a paper towel with some water to wipe it up. This is so much faster, I promise. Now it is time to disinfect, clean out the cage. So I'm just using a chlorhexidine and water solution and I'm wiping out wiping out all of the surfaces of the cage to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so now it is time for the Hydra Balls. These are just expanded clay balls that basically create a drainage layer so that the water can drain from your plants and it doesn't rot the roots. I'm using about, I don't even know, about maybe a half the bag. I was able to do three exoteric cages with two bags of these Hydra Balls, if that helps. So now it's time to cut out my mesh. I just use mesh window screen that I got at the hardware store. It's just cheaper this way rather than buying the Exoterra mesh. And this just separates the bedding from your drainage layer. Now it is time for the bedding. This is just a mix I made it myself. It has Eco Earth, some sand, some moss, a bunch of random things that I had on hand. And basically I'm just trying to make a substrate that plants will grow in. 
I'm not 100% sure that this substrate is the best option, but I'm just using what I have on hand and hopefully it works. I am putting a couple inches of bedding and I'm making it slightly higher in the back just to create different levels in the cage. Basically just want to make it deep enough that when you put your plants in there that they'll be able to be fully covered like the roots are fully covered. Grabbing some wood. I'm pretty sure this is Mapani wood but I could be completely wrong. I've had these pieces for quite a while and I'm making basically like a treehouse stand so that Cordelia is little birdhouse could actually sit on them she really likes that so i do that with all of her different cage layouts so I just kind of create that here i'm putting in cordelia's birdhouse and fun fact she would not get out of it for me to actually put it in there with her not in it. So she got to witness her cage redecoration right from inside. And if you're curious about the birdhouse, it actually is from my local dollar store. It is meant to like hang in your tree for outdoor birds, but Cordelia absolutely loves it. I was a little bit worried at first about mold. She's had it for a few years now and it's perfect. It doesn't mold, it's great, she loves it. Now for some plants and I will list the types of plants that I got in the description because I can't remember the names of them for the life of me but I'm putting this one in first. I got this one from a reptile store so it is nice and pet safe. Then I'm also going to be using some clippings of pothos that are actually from a house plant that I have so I know those ones are also safe. I am going to be adding in some fake plants for now just until the live plants hopefully grow in. I mean, I like the look of having both fake plants and live plants in there just so that it's more full, that the cage is more full, she can hide better, um, but it's really up to you if you want to include both. So now it's time to put some leaves in and I just kind of break these up and sprinkle them around the bottom and that way when I get isopods and springtails in here they'll have places to hide and some matter to actually eat. I did forget to put the moss in at first but at the end when I show all the cages I did actually end up putting some moss in this cage as well. Okay, so it is now time to spray down the cage. I'm paying extra attention to make sure I'm spraying down the live plants really, really well. And then I'm just spraying the rest of the cage like normal. Okay, so we are on to the next cage and now that I've kind of shown you my process, I'm just going to let you watch how I do this um, in kind of sped up motion and yeah, enjoy. Here's little Mango. She is my only crested gecko that likes to sleep under the bedding, so that's kind of funny.
Okay, here is cage three. This is the last cage I'm gonna show you guys uh, me redoing. This cage was probably the messiest. This is Olive's cage. She is my first ever crusted gecko. So let's get right into it. Okay, this has been a journey to get all these tanks changed over, but now let's take a little tour of them. This is Cordelia's cage. She is my one and only gargoyle gecko. I added the moss in now and it is all complete. I didn't film this one, but this is one of my male Crested Gecko's cages. This is Sticky's cage. And here is Mango's cage. She is one of my breeder female Crested Gecko's. And lastly, here is Mango's cage. Like I said, she was my first ever Crested Gecko a lot of years ago, and here's her finished setup. My little dog Daisy was very interested in the new cage setups. Okay guys, that is my video for today. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And definitely give me a follow on Instagram. I post lots of reptile content and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.